8,000 new infections every day. The administration says it's updating its mask guidance and exploring ways to get better masks to Americans. We're um, in the process right now of strongly considering options to make more high quality mask available to all Americans. But for weeks, health experts in cities like New York and Los Angeles have been urging people to upgrade to more protective masks like N95s, KN95s, and KF94s. The most important mask, the best mask, is the one that you'll wear all day. So if you can w figure out a good, well-fitting mask that fits your nose and mouth, that's the most critical. No doubt about it, KN95s, N95s, and KF94s, there's a series of masks out there that are much higher quality. And tonight, another hopeful sign that places where Omicron surged first might be turning a corner. New York City reporting a 20% decline in cases since January 1st. And in Boston, wastewater samples show a sharp drop in the amount of virus detected in the last week. Both encouraging signs in New York City and in Boston. We have to see what the days and the weeks ahead show us with that with us tonight. And I know there's also new research this evening about the virus. Once it's airborne, uh, someone around you has it. It was very telling about how strong it is for the first five minutes or so and then how quickly it weakens, which of course... Uh, reinforces why masks are so important during those first minutes of exposure to someone who's sick. Yeah, David, this new study out of the UK estimates that COVID loses most of its ability to infect within the first five minutes of leaving someone's body and 90% of its ability to infect within 20 minutes. The research shows that the virus dissipates relatively quickly in the air and that your highest risk comes from someone who is close to you without a mask. David, we Johnson leading us off tonight. Thank you, it as always. We're going to turn.